What's up everybody, Nick Bringle here, and today we're talking about the Freewell Variable NDX Mist Filter. Okay, so I thought I'd switch it up. We're outside on my deck. There's no lights. I just have an umbrella here that's blocking out the, the cloudiness of today. Um, so yeah, and I'm going with the WMX1 lavalier, recording straight into the Zoom H4n. So a lot of different things are happening here. Uh, we are recording uh, in 6K RAW. Everything you're watching here has been edited, uh, color graded in Resolve, and then uh, exported out in a 4K timeline because what's the point of 6K upload? You get a little more crispiness. So that's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, today we're talking about the Freewell Gear Variable ND filter that has uh, mist also built in, it's like multiple coating, I don't know how it works. The folks at Freewell were really nice and they sent me out this two to five stop uh, ND mist filter. They did not pay me, this is not a review that they are uh, monitoring at all. So um, really shout out to them for sending this out and I'm kind of been playing with it for the past month or so and you've seen it in some of my latest videos or been able to tell the differences. So today I figure we talk a little bit more about that. So most of us know about mist filters and that they you know, help with contrast and the highlights and the shadows and they create this more cinematic bloom effect when it comes to lights and just uh, the sun and depending on you know, the daylight and what you're working with, it can create a really awesome effect. It can also help you out a lot in post-production when editing, uh, get a little bit of those highlights back, a little bit of the contrast and you're able to push and pull a little bit more, especially if you're shooting in RAW, which that's what we're doing. So we're gonna walk through a few different uh, scenes. Of course, this video is sponsored by my wife. She's amazing and she is always willing to be in front of the camera even when she doesn't want to. So she is the subject and we have a few different scenarios, some different lighting setups and some with the mist filter on, with it off. Uh, all the clips were edited in Resolve using either Joel Familaro's neutral airy LUT uh, accompanied by some dehancer as well with grain and some tonal contrast and things like that. And then some of the other clips uh, have been edited just with dehancer, only a few of them though, and you'll be able to tell and there'll be labels as well. So mist filters have been out for a long time now. I have yet to play around with them until Freewell sent me this one. Uh, I have, I don't know, I guess not seen a need for them. I think they're really cool. I just haven't really applied them in any of my work. And I'm really glad at this point in time that I did, especially with Freewell, because it's a much more inexpensive filter coming in at about $110 or $200 for a pair of two to five stop and six to nine. So compared to the Peter McKinnon Polar Pros, 
it's, you know, the price difference is just completely different. Obviously with the Peter McKinnons, you are paying for a little bit more quality in the construction and the case and things like that. But a lot of the videos I've been watching and from my own uh, experience using this filter, um, I don't know, it, it's working pretty amazingly and I haven't seen any issues. The only thing that I think all of these filters do, especially with multiple coatings, they can create you know, some color cast. This one puts a tiny hint of some green, uh, which I don't mind, so I can take that out and, and really mess with that, uh, especially in Dehancer with um, all the controls that you get there, so. The bloom effect on this mist is 1 8th. It's not massive, but it is 100% noticeable, as you see uh, when taking it off and showing you a very similar uh, framing, similar color grade, that you're not getting that bloom, you're not getting those roll-offs that you'd like to see, you know, the hair in the background. Um, so you will be able to tell the difference for sure. So that's pretty much all I got. I highly recommend this filter. I think it's really awesome. You're getting two for one and you're getting it for less than half the price of the top competitors. And so I think it's really a no brainer if you wanna jump into that X Mist, Pro Mist, Black Mist, Hollywood Mist, whatever it's called. You wanna get into that. Freewell makes a really, really solid product. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and this was the first time stopping by my channel, consider subscribing, go watch some other videos, smash the like button, have any questions, drop them down below, and go create something and go enjoy life, I guess. Uh, it's pretty gorgeous here. It's just a little overcasty, but you know, so yeah.